what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here just want to do a video today talking about the purge more specifically the forever purge which is set to be released this july it was supposed to come out last summer in july but of course you know things changed as they did with many films that were supposed to release last year they got shifted into 2021 and beyond due to the ongoing pandemic uh the purge has been a franchise that's been around since 2013 now i remember going to see the original film with ethan hawk in theaters i thought it was one of the more i thought the first film definitely was a, a very much grounded home invasion film that was exploring this idea of what it would be like if we had this type of event going on every year where for a short period of time all crime would be legal to financially and economically assist the the climate in in america because apparently it's very beneficial from what the data is showing in this universe and this has all been brought on by the new founding fathers it was their idea and we know that the purge series for the most part takes place in the 2020s uh the last film that came out was the first purge a prequel to the events that came before the other three movies now the forever purge is set to take place after the purge election year which came out in 2016 subsequently ironically the same year that we all went to go out and vote for either uh 45 or hillary but <laughs> we had a new image released today um not today but recently of the of the film it's nothing special here nothing special nothing mind-blowing it's a purge movie it's something chaotic total film released this it looks like it's typical purge activities going on in this image as you see and given everything that happened last year and things that were going on still this year as we just saw recently in news the recent events that happened at the capitol uh nothing in this image is shocking i don't think anyone's shocked by this it looks very much like a purge movie we've basically been living a purge movie for the past year but go nuts i guess <laughs> i'm not necessarily the biggest fan of this franchise but i appreciate the concept the first movie yes was very very much a grounded a grounded way to handle the concept and what i think a lot of people loved about the future sequels is how they branched out and did things that was an issue with that first movie instead of just being grounded in this house there's a lot more exploration but i still feel like they're kind of squandering this concept because everything's just murder 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 i feel like they could do a lot of different angles with this concept and they're not doing it so news recently came out about what's going to happen with the franchise going forward and just a brief synopsis about this so this is just from bloody disgusting sources recently told uh thr that the film takes place that this film takes the purge out of its usual metropolitan setting while still dealing with class and race issues in the way of the previous films have and we've also been told that this is to be the final movie in the franchise now details about the film the synopsis is saying that the, the movie will take place after the events of the election year and will center on adela and juan who find solace at the texas ranch who find solace at the texas ranch having failed fled a drug cartel in mexico things go awry when a group of outsiders decide to keep purging beyond the allotted time when people can break any and all laws so apparently in this movie what we'll have here is just a purge going on after it's allotted time and we'll be centering on two two new characters who we have not yet met adela and juan now the film's cast looks to include josh lucas Levin Rambin, Cassidy Freeman, Will Patton, who is so far the only recognizable name that I see, Ana de, Ana de la Regara, and Veronica Falcon. The only name I recognize is Will Patton. Uh, that's the only name I recognize in this cast. Again, Ethan Hawke was in the original film. The second and the third film, they had this one central character that returned in both films. I can't think of his name at the moment, but he was in the second and the third film he was in anarchy and he was in election year the my favorite personally out of this franchise so far has been the purge election year i was a real big fan of this girl here the candy the candy bar girl the way she was just she she was probably the most insane character they they presented in this franchise over a candy bar a candy bar she was ready to go in on this store clerk over a candy bar and i just was I was just enamored by her character i thought that that's my honestly my favorite character from the franchise how insane she was over a candy bar but as you heard this is supposed to be the final entry in this franchise i'm honestly 
quite glad i don't think that's going to be the case i think ultimately what'll happen is they'll keep making more they'll just take a brief sub they'll take a brief hiatus for the time being and then they'll return to it the reason i think that is because look at paranormal activity paranormal activity the ghost dimension was supposed to be the final entry a very lackluster final entry it was but now we're going to get another one we don't know really what's going to happen yet there but i'm just saying look at what happened with paranormal activity um, you know, a lot of series do. They say they're going to be the final chapter. We know Scream 5 is coming, but Scream 3, we know Scream was originally supposed to be a trilogy. You know, things always change. With time, things do change. So, like, for the time being, yeah, we'll rock with it and say this is going to be the final film in the franchise because that's what their intentions are. But your intentions could be different a few years from now, especially if another group of uh, creative minds get together and they have something they want to offer to this franchise. Because, like I said, for the most part, I feel like this Purge concept has been squandered. The creator of it james demonico i believe his name is he's even he's the one stating he's always wanted to in this franchise recently he stated that recently in an interview whether last year or this year or the year prior he has ideas already about ending the franchise so the fact that they want to end it here um depending on how it plays out i'll that's when i'll say whether it was a good ending or not i felt that the purge election year was a solid end i thought the purge was just fine as it was as a trilogy because you know if you're not gonna branch out and explore this concept in other ways without just showing us murder and chaos like that then stop making these movies because like i said there's so many things that other people would be doing on purge night but i'm just seeing they're more interested in, in exploring murder 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 and i feel like a concept like the purge where all crime including murder is legal um that's something that could be explored in a variety of different genres like the purge doesn't just have to stick to this hardcore horror it could be exploring all these other things because like like they say themselves all crimes including murder they're just including murder in the concept with these films or they're not exploring all crimes they're just they're just exploring in the including murder aspect that's why I feel like The Purge has been a squandered concept for the most part with these movies. So with The Purge 5, whatever they do, I'm just glad it's going to end. Hopefully it ends on a high note. I can't wait to see what happens. Can't wait to see how things play out with these people that are clearly just going to keep on purging beyond the allotted time they're supposed to be purging. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. What do you think about that image? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so and never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Of course, you can message me there, of course. So let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.